What's up, guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Control Part 6, where we are never in control and we are trying to get things under control by fixing, right now, the NSC generator, the power plant section of the game. By right now, we got to, well, we have to fix the energy converters, which is currently that way. I'm guessing we can get there through this method, however. Oh, good. We have freaks along the way. That works. Rude. Good. Anybody else gonna interrupt us before uh, we try to go where we need to go? Yes, no. I thought not. All right, let's see, can we access this area? Logic says no. But there is another area at the NSC control room that we could enter through. Therefore, we venture through. Just hold together a little longer. Yeah, I mean, I know that's like a thing, but I still don't understand the entire purpose of what we're doing. Okay, looks clean, looks good. Um, and we can get this little control point. Ta-da! Good. I don't think we can do anything here. No. So, what the hell is this? Besides me killing myself. That's just that's great. Yep. There we go. Yeah, we can't be inside there with the fungus. Okay, that's fine. Good to know, at least. Wait, what's the purpose of that? Can we activate that somewhere in here? There? Let me just see. No. It was worth a check, though. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the whole thing comes inside the black as you see. Those guys were there? Yep. NSC energy converters. So we have to fix them through what means exactly. Where does that come from? Ah. Hmm. The heck? I'm trying to open that up, it wouldn't let me. Where is it? Unread. Let's see. Home safe test. The safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects or material from its immediate vicinity. See OOP 22 case file for more detail. Bureau Rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a paralatilitarian or bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's durability. Redacted and redacted velocity ammunition were tested with redacted results. Testing will continue after redacted. The safe object of power is clearly a viable candidate. 
for use in combat response scenarios, allowing para-utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering. Refer to file 8-53-8367 for full report. Okay, so investigate the training course, which is that way. I'm guessing we can get to said training course through this method, maybe? Whoa. Yeah, somehow. Or we have to do the mission that we have before us first to then do this one. So let's try to continue this quest. I keep accidentally hitting like the X button like as we're running around and I keep switching the weapons, but most of the time I do want the pistol. But frankly, we never use the pistol because I just use the literal force basically. Which is fine. It works better. It does way more damage. What do we have here? Dodge efficiency. That's fine, I suppose. Okay, so we need these. Ah, I see. Do implant to there. Where would the next one be located? Gotta hurt somebody in here. Maybe not. There we go. Okay, upstairs we go. Oh boy. That works. I love this ability so much. It's so damn good. Just the kinetic ability in this game is so good. It feels good. It is good. It's great. Kind of crazy if we just pick like crap off the ground like that too. Anything else around before we uh, mess around? Not really, huh? Okay. Let's go lift the lockdown. Okay, so we can now go to the control room through this method. We gotta lift the lockdown, which means we have to go backtrack. Upcoming game reminder. The next game is at Wednesday, 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. Usual spot. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Erish is still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how she's cheating. Thompson is suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy is has an IOU of $60, and I brought beers last time, so it is Hepston Stahl's turn. Remus. Okie dokie. Well, this is the control room. That's not good. There's a lot of individuals here. Not good. Pop your face out. Shit. Damn it. Peter's running away. That works. A little messy. That. Get 
guess it was nothing. Let's cleanse this point. There's a lot of fast travel points in this game. There's almost too many. Forces contained. A lockdown. Let's see what we have here. That's cool. It can be used as like a key too. Speak That's with it. Emily. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. So I'll risk it. we gotta go talk to Emily Pope to again. Yeah, that's great. I don't care that much. Um, but we have that other mission that we gotta do, which I imagine we could do now. Let's do that first. That will involve us going looks like this way. Yes. Uh go north. Access corridor. Oh, we have access level two now. I thought we only had level one before. Maybe. Have we been here? Feels familiar. Probably. Strange that's still blocked off. I mean, the elevator is available to us, but, um, I don't want to use that elevator. I want to go to these new zones. Okay. Well, um, okay, I do recognize this area now that we're running through it, through this pathway. Right, and then this was here. Can I access this? Well, it's not cool. The janitor's office is back this way. We don't need to go to the janitor's office. Let's fast travel then. I'm going to see if I can try to get up north through a different route. Let us try. No, not that way. Go to the power plant area. Let's see if I can go north. Ideally, I should be able to. Maybe we could talk to this guy as well. Because I fixed the stuff. Crew feels a lot safer when you're around. Thanks. Oh, I see. We could talk to him about all the stuff. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Sure. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Yeah, I was about to say, I didn't think you'd know anything. So, I guess I'm not even going to ask. I should be going. Right. He kind of seems like, uh, he does his job and that's all he knows. We should be able to go this way. Theoretically. Anything else? Because we should be able to go wherever we want because the lockdown is now lifted, right? Logic would dictate that. So yeah, we can go this way now. This is new to us. 
Hello. And boop. Neat. Spooky. So we want to be taking a left, apparently. Thresholds. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a redacted frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will then manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes, or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes redacted and those who learn of it. It's so it is actively denied. Refer to file 5 05 1881 for full report. I see. So I can't get in here. Which is where I need to go. I could go in here. And I could go forward here. Which is just another elevator. I see. There's nothing here that will allow me to proceed then. It would seem. That's access level four. We definitely do not have that. I think we only have two. And one, obviously. And boom. Tennyson report warning. Listen, Trench is on the warpath about this Tennyson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it, and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever it did is gonna get crucified. I don't know if it was one of you guys, and I don't wanna know. I'm not super keen on leading a witch hunt, so tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. Best not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know? I tell ya, it's not even counting all the weird shit we deal with. This place can be a downright hostile work environment sometimes. A. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I thought not. So, it would seem that it is not possible currently to go to where we want to go. Does this lead back to Emily Pope's? We did see this area open up on the cutscene. I'll find out. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I have to go to... One of them. No. Not what I wanted. I want this. Because I clearly can't go this way, right? Unless... I can. That seems to have effect on things. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Let's go in. Uh, field training actor complaint. I like to. File a formal complaint, i.e. the unauthorized use of my voice. In the state of 
quality that I did not agree on. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have uh, disallowed the use of those recordings. I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. Of course, I will go to HR with this if necessary. Sign Randall Pulaski. What's this? Ah. Lockdown. Yeah, that's nice. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit about Mr. Pulaski. Hello, we are here. So I, I just read this. Welcome so is this Randall? Field training course. It is. It must be completed in this specified amount of time. When he you're ready sucks. to start, press the button. Is that all? Or? I always did love obstacle courses. Get yeah. ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two. His voice one. is lame. Go. Does it matter? Of um, I shoot this. This. Ah. Five seconds remaining. Man, I can't aim worth a shit, can I? Damn it! Thirty seconds remaining. Not very lenient, is it? That's nice. Five seconds remaining. Force failed. Ah! Come on! I was literally at the end. I could do better. Let's do it again. Get ready, Ranger. Get yeah, ready, Ranger. Get ready, Ranger. Get ready, Ranger. Three, two, two. One. One. Go. To be fair, I didn't know what I was supposed to do at the beginning. I mean, I knew it was a uh, course, right? Yeah, we have plenty of time. Damn it, grab the right thing, damn you. Fifteen seconds remaining. Yay! I'm guessing this isn't usually part of the course. That can't be good. We need to hit it harder to break that shield. Oh shit! It's protecting itself. There it is. The safe. What does this do? Use shield to complete the astral challenge. How does, uh... What's the shield button, though? No. Oh. The left bumper is. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. Kind of impractical. I don't know if you necessarily need it. But it's cool. It's not invincible.
That's for certain. I can see it having uses, though. And we got new ability points because of that as well. Cool. Alright, new case file. The home safe. The containment procedure. No unique procedures are required. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Home safe. Weight measurements may vary. When bound, the object allows paraautilitarians to telekinetically gather item and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bounded by redacted. It was discovered in the basement of a home in Redacted, Ohio. The object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched and now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from seam around the object's door, Test confirmed the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open said object have been unsuccessful. So, just Time to have a oh, hello. I don't need a shield. I literally have power. Unparalleled. Use the other thing, thank you. Got to be a freak about it. Jeez. Need some health. Thank you. Could use some more health, but that's fine. Now, the more and more that we're playing this game through, the more and more this game is reminding me of two different things. I initially said the Matrix, because it has a very Matrixy vibes for how things are. But um, there's also two other things that it reminds me of. One is it's very um, Dark Soulsy in the way how you move about in this game, how you do things in certain ways, and blah 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 blah. Um, the other thing that it reminds me of is um, oh shit, what was it? I was just thinking of it. Oh, it reminds me of uh, SCP kind of stuff. It's very SCP Matrix and Dark Souls, like kind of combined into one thing with like a third person shooter kind of vibe. It's different, it's weird, and the culmination of everything is interesting. However, I do wish it did have more of a, I don't know, more of an interesting story vibe. I mean, it's not that it's not interesting. I wish it was a little bit more interesting, and I wish so far the whole game didn't take place in this whole entire building. Other than that, the game was pretty interesting. To say the least. Um, we need three abilities to get the last launch, or we could get this, which we actually cannot. We can get shield strength, however, that sounds stupid to me. Yeah. Look at this. There's like all these abilities over on the right side I didn't even notice about. Because they're so like blurred out. Interesting. Let's teleport over to the central executive place and then i think this is actually a good spot for us to end today's episode of control unless we get a cutscene, but we'll see in a second okay hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of control if you guys have make sure you guys leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think of this game thus far like i said those are my thoughts on the game um up until this point um, if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet and you like this game or myself and you like hanging out with me, feel free to subscribe to me, MadSquash924 over on YouTube or I'm right there and you can hang out with me there. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On the next episode, we're going to meet up with Emily Pope and see what our next batch of objectives will become. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.